So your divorce is now final and the inevitable has begun. Your friends and family are starting to ask you, when are you going to date again? Maybe they're even starting to nag you about getting married again. And the more they ask you this, the more you're realizing that you don't want to be married again. Maybe you don't even want to date again. You've been married and now you're ready to be single. First, I want you to know that the decision to remain single after divorce, before marriage even, is completely and entirely valid. There is nothing at all wrong with that decision. So often there is this cultural narrative around people that choose to remain single. It's as they are perceived as somehow maybe not being over past relationships. Maybe they're bitter. Well, frankly, that is complete BS. There is, there is nothing wrong with you for deciding to stay single. So why do you want to remain single? Well, I think anybody who has been through the nightmare of any divorce process, much less a difficult one, does not ever want to go through that again. And for most of us, we have paid a price, literally. And so it's not uncommon to not want to have that legal entanglement again. And maybe you're deciding that even if you get into another relationship, that you don't want this one to be legally binding. And that's okay. And that's okay. For so many of us, we got married originally because it was what we were supposed to do. Or maybe you wanted to have children and you wanted them to be born and grow up in the context of a marriage. But now that you're older, now that, well, maybe you care a lot less about what people think, maybe now that piece of paper doesn't matter to you anymore. And you want to make sure that your property, that your money remains yours. I get it. Maybe once you and your now ex separated, you realize that you actually kind of like this single thing. You like the fact that there's nobody else messing up the kitchen and that you get to stretch out on the bed and that you can go somewhere or do something and you don't have to check in or ask permission or any of those things, that your life is now your own. And if you've been in a marriage for a long time, that newfound singleness can be exciting. It's so freeing. Maybe you want to keep that. Maybe you don't want to be have that feeling of being locked in again, of being kind of hedged in. Maybe this has made you realize that marriage isn't for you. Maybe you're more interested in ethical non-monogamy. Cool. That's absolutely a choice for you. Maybe you realize that, you know what? You would rather casually date sometimes or not date at all and fill your life with rich and meaningful friendships. Awesome. There is nothing that says that marriage is one size fits all. You don't have to be partnered. You don't have to be partnered in a certain way. You can sculpt your life to fit what you want. Maybe you're a single parent and now that the marriage is over, you really want to take this time to focus on your children. That is an amazing opportunity that you have right now. And so I get it. Dating somebody when you have kids, whew, that is a hard thing to do because not only are you selecting somebody that makes a good partner for you, but you're also selecting a potential parent for them. And that is a lot of responsibility. And then you have all of those questions about when do you introduce them to your kids? And then there's the energy because dating, getting to know somebody, building a new relationship takes a lot of energy. And I don't have to tell you, raising kids takes a whole lot of energy too. Maybe you become a little jaded at the whole idea of marriage. You know, I know for me, I sure thought my first marriage would last forever. You know, I completely believed in that until death do you part. And I thought that if we had any issues that we would work them out. Well, it <laughs> didn't exactly turn out that way. And so for most of us that have been through divorce, we recognize that there's no security 
no real security at least provided by marriage. It doesn't mean that you can't be abandoned. It doesn't mean that somebody can't cheat on you. Really all it does is make it a little bit more difficult and a little less socially acceptable. So at this point, maybe you're like, marriage, eh, you know, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Okay, no problem. For many of us, after going through divorce, we are completely shattered. Our world was destroyed. And we've learned that divorce really impacts everything in our lives. And when you're left there with nothing, those scraps and that daunting task of rebuilding your life, it's really, really hard to imagine ever putting yourself in that position again. And I get that. Once you've been hurt so badly, of course you don't ever want to feel that pain again. And one of the ways to ensure that is to not allow yourself to get into the same sort of relationship that you were in before. Maybe you've tried dating. Maybe you've gotten out there and given it a shot and you're finding that the people that you meet, well, they're just not doing it for you. Maybe there's something wrong with them or that they're just not the partner that you're looking for. And so you get, and so you're just frankly tired and over it all. Or perhaps you're meeting some decent people, but along the way, you're also recognizing that Maybe you're still carrying some wounds. Maybe you haven't fully healed yet and you're not yet ready to be the person that you want to be in a relationship. So perhaps you want to stay single, at least for now, so that you can really focus on yourself, that you can do that growth, that you can heal those wounds so that you can become everything that you want to be without having to worry about being what somebody else wants you to be. So again, there is nothing wrong at all with choosing to remain single. But I do have some questions for you to ask yourself, and only you know the answers to these. First, are you making this decision out of fear or out of self-awareness? The decision can look the same, but the motivation behind it can be very different, and the outcomes of that can be very different. So here's what I mean by that. If you're making this decision out of self-awareness that you want to remain single because that fits who you are at your core and you are making that choice not out of a fear of being hurt, not out of a fear of being vulnerable, hey, that is awesome. You know who you are and you're doing what fits for you. But if you are making this decision only because taking the risk of letting somebody in is too scary, that might be something to look at. Because what can happen is when we've been hurt, sometimes we desperately want somebody to be with us. We want love, we want partnership, but we are so afraid of what might happen. We're so afraid of being left. We're so afraid of it possibly ending that we build these walls. And sometimes we even tell ourselves, I don't want this thing. But it's not that we don't want it, it's that we don't want to lose it. So just be very clear with yourself why you're making this choice. Is it fear or is it because you know yourself? I also want you to ask yourself if you are withdrawing from life. And that's a hard one. You don't have to have a romantic relationship in any way, shape, or form in order to have a fulfilling, happy, complete life. But I would say you cannot have a fulfilling, happy, and complete life if you're not letting anybody in. Do you have relationships, non-romantic ones, with people that know you, with people that you have an intimate connection with, that you're willing to be vulnerable with. That is important. So make sure that even though you are shunning romantic relationships, that you're not shunning life. And then finally, the last question. Are you allowing yourself 
permission to change your mind. Right now, single is what works for you. But you don't know what's going to necessarily work for you next year or 10 years from now. I ask you to give yourself permission to allow the space for you to change your mind. After all, you probably once thought that your marriage would never end, yet it did. So don't be so sure about what is around the next corner. So for all my single friends out there, you are brave. You are independent. You are not afraid of what anyone else thinks of you. You keep being your awesome self.